is the USB killer. Now it might not look like much, however this will straight up kill your computer. So this is a device that's used to test hardware. So while it looks like an ordinary USB device, you take the cap off, it could be any old flash drive, instead it has a series of capacitors inside. So if you plug it into a computer, it will charge those capacitors up and once they're full, it turns around and releases all of that power at 240 volts straight back into the computer, in theory killing it. While the USB kill logo is a little bit of a giveaway, it doesn't take much to be able to pop this thing open. Now before we proceed, do not try this at home. Seriously. Not only is it very possible for this thing to kill electronics, but it's also a lot of voltage here. You want to be careful. And by being careful, I mean don't try this at home. One. Man, I see this light, which makes me think there's maybe some life, but the screen is definitely dead. Maybe the battery's still intact, which is running that light, but Chromebook, done for. I don't We're going to try the USB killer on the brand new 2016 MacBook Pro. Now normally, I would not want to kill this under any circumstances. However, apparently Apple has actually fixed the USB ports so that they are not susceptible to an attack like this. So because this doesn't have normal USB ports, we're gonna be using a USB-C to USB-A adapter. This shouldn't affect anything, but we'll find out. Dude, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous right now. All right, there's nothing to it. Let's plug the adapter in. In three, two, one. Oh, it clicked, it clicked. Oh, it's clicking, do you hear that? Oh, it survived. Will the USB killer be able to kill an entire TV? Plug it in, in three, two, one. Oh, I heard it. The TV's still on. It's not ticking. I heard one loud click and that was it. I wonder, does the USB port still work? Because the TV's still fine. So to find out if this actually works or not, we're gonna plug a keyboard in. Which might sound like a weird thing to do. However, since it's a smart TV, it actually does support a keyboard, so. Nothing, no. This is, I don't even think this is getting power. While the USB killer didn't kill the TV, it did at least fry the USB port. Next, we have a phone. Now this might seem like a little bit of a weird choice. However, the 6P does have a USB-C port. So, plugging into the Nexus 6P in three, two, one. Oh, oh! Whoa! Wait, the phone's rebooting. Hold on a second. Wait, pull out, pull out, pull out. So it reset the phone. That was a really loud crack too. So everything seems to be fine on the phone. Now let's see if we can actually plug it in. So what I want to know is, does the port still work? So we have a PC here, if we plug it in. Okay, so we are charging. So at least we have that working. Do we get data? Yeah, this is acting just like a charger. It doesn't see any kind of data coming through on either side. So it might not have killed the phone, and to be fair, you can still charge, which honestly is by far the most important part of being able to use a port. However, the fact that we've killed data on two different USB-C devices does not bode well. This USB killer is no joke. As long as you're careful with your electronics and don't let random people plug things in, you should be fine. However, all it takes is a single second and you can do some serious damage.